This is Twit. If you use Windows, and you do, you're here, right? Yeah. Um, Windows has a feature called Nearby Sharing that allows you to, over Bluetooth or hopefully Wi-Fi, share files from one computer to the other. I just mentioned the book writing process. One of the things I do is I use a a certain computer that I have actually one here and at home, right, for this purpose, uh, for screenshots, same exact computer. Um, And when I'm done, I go through the chat, you know, the writing computer, and when I have them all, I um, use nearby sharing to wirelessly transmit them to the computer I'm using for writing and editing, where I will edit those things, rename them, put them in the right folder, get them into the book. Um, On Apple, they have something called, who cares what they have, but Apple has something obviously (laughs) that moves. Okay. Who cares? Yeah, if you have iPhones and iPads and Macs, you can move files back and forth, right? It's continuity. Okay. Yeah. Kind of. Thanks. I didn't care. But now, thank you. I, I childhood <laughs> memory is now gone because that. Okay. So that's fine. <clears throat> Lost forever. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Google's ecosystem, they have a, uh, a nearby share feature which works between Android devices and Chromebooks, of course. But now they have an app for Windows that brings it to Windows, which makes sense because. You know, Windows, a lot of Android users use Windows. So they released this as a beta back in April, and now it is generally available and everyone can get it. They made a couple of improvements. You know, the uh, file transfer estimates are more accurate. Uh, you get image previews if that's what you're transferring. Uh, the performance is better, et cetera, et cetera. I, I hate having to install an extra app. I, I wish to God that they had figured out a way. This is probably Microsoft's fault, but it would have been really neat if they could have just integrated this with nearby sharing in Windows and just had it be like a integrated feature. But I get, you know, whatever, all kinds of reasons why they didn't do that. But if you have needs uh, a need to transfer files between your Android phone and Windows, this is available. It works well. Um, I will say the most common time I need to do this is with photos. But yeah. what happens is I will, I take pictures, like I'll take pictures of a device, like I'm going to write a review, right? I, I put the phone down, I go to my computer, I go to photos.google.com. They're already there. They've already yeah. synced up. I select the ones I need. I download them. That works for me. Yeah, that's what I usually do. Yeah. So that's my most common use case. So I don't really need this a lot. I, I can't say I've done performance benchmarking, but I, uh, my internet yeah. connection speeds like here. I've also been, you know, I'm, re- I'm busy collecting photos around the house for the handbook to, for yeah. somebody else to own my house. Same thing. Yep. And the big thing for me with nearby share is that as I'm taking the photos, I'm telling it, send this to my laptop. Oh, that's send cool. this to the oh, computer. That's By the time I get back oh, there, really it's already cool. there. I don't have that extra step. Yeah, there you go. That's so you don't idea. have to do it all at once. You can just say, send everything back. Yeah. Just mm-hmm. keep oh, that's a nice back. feature, I think. I like yeah. that. It's like that's tethering. That's what they call it in the professional photography studios. Mm. Tethering. Yeah. yeah. That, nice. that being said, I often take, you know, several photos where I get a good one. And so it's yeah. useful to you're, call. You're, you're, but you're also, yeah, you're also transferring things that are garbage, but yeah, that's okay. That's, okay. that's what transferring is for. You don't pay for yeah, it. Exactly. Yeah. I didn't like, get this bandwidth not to use it, put right. garbage on it. Who cares? <laughs> yeah. Especially bandwidth within my network. Saturated right? yeah. Yeah. I spent all this time building a perfect structured Wi Fi environment here. By golly, yep. I'm going to try and fill it That's up. Right. I always, I always, I always use this for everything, but like the, my favorite example, of this is like, we were in Mexico city last year and my son's like, why are the, the cops are all blowing whistles. Like they're all over the place. He's like, I, why did I, they're not even doing anything. Like, what are they blowing their whistles for? I'm like, Mark, they didn't give them whistles not to use them. You know? <laughs> I, I, that's, that's what, you know. Duh. <laughs> if you had a whistle, you'd blow it. Yeah. We're giving you this whistle. Use it. Use it. <laughs> you know? psh, psh. Yeah. And they, oh, God, do they use it? Yeah. Mm. It's okay. a thing. Latin America, it's all about the street sounds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah noise. It's noise. The noise. And noise. Friday afternoon riots. Yep. Or parades. As or I always uh, case uh, maybe. Well, no, they, they call them protests. Um, yeah, the, yeah, the difference between the parade and the riot is just the. I always wish, like you, know, you guys know, like Rick Steves, that guy who does Europe. Like yeah. I always wish Rick Steves would cover Mexico because I, I like walk around and just imitate him all the time. I'm like, the citizens of Mexico City are exercising their democratic right to protest. You know, like it's like. I actually, like they thing on, I do the same like thing. I want to be fire. Rick Streeves yeah. when I grow up. When yeah. I'm walking around, I do the same thing. I do. I, I walk around. I'm like, uh, Boston is a cultural <laughs> bully. <laughs> 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 you know? yeah. Turn on your Rick Steves and go. Hey there, I'm Micah Sargent from Twit. And uh, you may be asking a question. What in the world do you do if you want to thank that hardworking team of yours? 
Well, why not gift them a Club Twit corporate subscription? Oh, and here's a secret. You'll be benefiting yourself too, because you will be able to keep your team informed and entertained with podcasts covering the latest in tech. So they'll always stay up to date. With a Club Twit subscription, they're going to get access to all of our podcasts ad free. They'll get access to the members only Discord server where they can chat with fellow Club Twit members and all of us here at Twit and exclusive shows like Hands on Mac, Hands on Windows, and the Untitled Linux Show. Go to twit.tv slash Club Twit and look Look for corporate plans for complete details.